Scotty should be Prime Minister. What changes would you make, Scotty? There won't be much to live for soon. J.D. Donnelly, there's always something to live for. Even if it's Scotty McLean on TikTok. Good evening, Scotty. Let me second that. Evening, Scotty. And everybody is following us. Get following, guys. Thank you, dear. Thanks very much, Richard. Now then, what's happening? Uh, well, Scotty, I'm just sitting here relaxing, and I thought I would give a wee call like last week. I just thought I would call in. I just I love to it. hear your accent. It's beautiful. Uh -huh. Isn't it funny, Scotty, that all the people over here hear our accent? You know, well, not us, but I mean, oh. we hear our own accent. Is that right? Because uh, I absolutely love it. Yeah, we, we we don't like it, Scotty. But but, but I was listening to the very attentively there to Kareem, you know? Yes. Uh, and, I, and I have to explain to him maybe that, you know, I I was raised on, on, on the on, on the person side of the fence, Scotty, and then converted. Yes, absolutely. And I think that a lot of people don't quite understand. I can remember hearing a story about... I think it was the Mays prison when they had both sides in there. And they quite often communicated what had happened. I think if I remember right, tell me if this was right. You had uh, one lot on one side, another lot in the middle, and the same lot on the other side. So what they found they could do was with a half tennis ball send each other notes so they would stick a note in and throw it over and, you know, get it to the other side. And um, apparently sometimes the tennis ball landed in the middle. So let's say it was the Catholic side and they hadn't made it to the other Catholic side and it had landed in the Protestant bit in the middle. Somebody said to me, what do you think happened to that ball? And some people would say, well, it probably disappeared to say, no, it didn't. They just flung it over to the next slot because they knew it was nothing to do with them. <laughs> I, no, no, Scotty, I think that's what they've done, okay. Yeah. But what I was going to say is, was... Is that true uh, or is, is that just made up? No, no, I think that's true, okay. Yeah. But what I was going to say was, Scotty, you know, uh, even among die-hard Republicans, they may hate the British government. They do not hate the Queen. No. Funny enough. No. As where well, you see, if you go right back, was it Arthur Griffiths that was the right back to the Brotherhood? Yes, so indeed. The Fenian Brotherhood. He was a huge monarchist. He just didn't like the Saxe Coburg setup. That's exactly right. You That's know? exactly right. I've, I, I have tried to educate people and explain to them, you know, people need to understand that the original, um, the forerunner to the IRA, when it was the old IRA, the forerunner to that um, was the Irish Brotherhood. The, the, the Irish, Irish Brotherhood, Brotherhood, yes. Now, were they not what were known as the original Fenian Brotherhood? They were, and, and formed... And formed, Scotty, by Presbyterian ministers. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, William of Orange himself, his character was shocking. Uh, yes, it was. You know, he was he was actually a very, very bad man. He was a tyrant. Um... You know? And and people people don't realise that. And, uh, you know, there's, there's all that in history. Also, the Battle of the Boyne, it was really a skirmish. And, and, and what people don't realise, the Protestant side wore green. <laughs> you see? It's very, very interesting when you have these things. People like to, how can I put this? They like Richard to be historical revisionists. Oh, definitely, Scotty. I'm not like their own narrative. So they cherry, they cherry pick the bits about their own lot and uh, everybody else is bad, they're good. Well, I'm enjoying the live phone, Scotty, and as always, it's great to talk to you. So I hope that everyone in the room has a good evening. I do, Richard, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening. It's a privilege and a pleasure talking with you, and I would like to see everybody in Northern Ireland come on for a chat. Ah, uh, 
fantastic, Scotty. Because I remember, I remember somebody saying to me, you should be on the radio in Northern Ireland, Scotty, they'd love it. And I said, right, I'll have a chat. And one of the programmers was a little bit frightened. He said, well, the problem is we've got the marching season coming up. I said, that's nothing to do with it. Anyone can phone Scotty McClure. Exactly, Scotty. And this is what it's all about. It's all about embracing each other and being friendly. Yes. And you know, you can have a difference of opinion without being aggressive or yeah. nasty. My experience of the people of Northern Ireland is that their manners are outstanding. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Scotty. So there and, you are. Uh, I was just talking to somebody today on, on TikTok, and I said, when are you going to get my square sausage over to Belfast? That's what it's about, and when are we going to get the Belfast hat? <laughs> Scotty, it's, a, it's been brilliant talking to you. Lovely, and Richard. I want to say, have a good evening, everyone in the room. And you take great care of your dear self, and dig you do. Thank you, do, Scotty. Thank you, do, sir. There we are. That's our Richard from Northern Ireland, see, on having a bit of a chit chat. I love it. Uh, Detroit, Tony, why not drop the law that the crown cannot be held by a Catholic? Because, Tony, it's not a question of dropping the law, the act of secession. It's the fact they didn't want the crown run from Rome which is what the Declaration of Our Growth in the 1340s was all about as well, because that was the aristocracy of Scotland writing to His Holiness the Pope to say, can we choose our own king? And this is why they wanted Robert the Bruce. Uh, it seems, what have we got here, that it's a tool that serves to divide Detroit. Yes, indeed. We'll be on tomorrow morning, Cameron. Who knows what the day will bring? The government got rid of the unwanted green tax, 25%, and VAT, 5%. It's a con, says Angela. Just became a top three viewer. We thank you very much, Gray. That is so good of you. Who's on the telephones here? You're live and Scott is phoning. Who's that? Good evening, Scott. Thank you, dear. It's Charlie. Charlie, how lovely to hear you. Welcome, sir. Yes, I've not phoned you for that time. You haven't phoned yeah. me for far too long, but please don't tell me you're not thoroughly enjoying tonight, because I am. No, I am, I, absolutely. Um, Scotty, I just want to, um, uh, about the awards ceremony,